So when I was a baby, my, my parents were inside Iran and uh, they were part of an opposition group against the Iranian regime. Uh, the current regime and the Shah's regime before that have had relatives who were imprisoned by both the Shah's regime and the Ayatollah regime. Uh, and, uh, but it was unsafe for us to stay in Iran. So when my parents fled Iran into Iraq and joined the rest of the opposition there, uh, they took me with them. Uh, however, it was a very dangerous area. Right? So you had the Iran-Iraq war, you had the first Persian Gulf war, you had uh, Iraq attacking Kuwait. It was not a place for a four-year-old child to be. So my parents had to make a decision. Do we take our child and try to build a new life in a free country outside of Iran, outside of Iraq? Or do we stay, uh, fight the good fight, but we have to send uh, our child away? Uh, so that our child can stay safe and then ultimately come back to a free nation that we help create. Uh, and so that's what they decided to do. Um, and they sent me through the network to uh, where I ended up was in Chicago. I got adopted uh, by a loving family that kept me in touch with the cause. And uh, since I was a kid, I've been going to a lot of the symposium and events. Now, specifically about my parents, uh, my mother and father and 20 other relatives uh, were in the first Ashraf, Camp Ashraf, uh, that was in Iraq. Uh, and they were fighting for a free and democratic uh, republic for Iran. Um, now, uh, through uh, history, through you know the, the Bush administration, the second Bush, and, and then the Obama administration, what ended up happening is when the United States went into Iraq, uh, my family, along with uh, their comrades, consolidated. They uh, were cooperatives with uh, the American military. Uh, uh, but when the military left, then the protection uh, that the U.S. had provided to them went away. And so uh, I came out to D.C., spent a couple years here with a mission to, number one, uh, ensure the safety and protection of my family and their comrades in, in Ashraf, uh, but number two, also um, help on the political front to push their cause of a free and democratic nation. Now, as we were helping uh, my family uh, and their comrades out of Ashraf, into a safe country, my father remained with a hundred uh, other friends of his in the original Camp Ashraf to protect all the assets there. Um, but uh, under the uh, management and direction of Qasem Soleimani, uh, there, were, uh, there was an attack on the camp. Uh, Iraqi forces broke in, and you can see them coming over the berms in some of the videos uh, with uh, weapons and targeted individuals. Uh, my father was among the first to get killed. Uh, in that attack. Uh, later on, after many years, I, I learned the story that he was in the center of the camp, far from uh, the front gates where the Iraqi forces broke in under uh, Soleimani's direction. Uh, but when he found out, he went to the front and he asked the younger um, guys up there to go to the center where they can be safe, and he guarded the front gates along with a couple of his, of his friends.